Welcome back to another Windows Insider Preview Build Review. Today we're looking at Windows 11 24H2 build number 26244. Let's take a look at new features, fixes, and known issues. All right, so starting off, we're gonna be in the settings. From there, we're gonna go actually to the account backups. So that's settings, accounts, Windows backup. And if we look here, we have remember apps, remember my preferences. So if you turn this on, and then if you have all these checked, but especially we're focusing today on the other Windows settings, this now will back up your sounds. So if you have a specific uh, set of sound settings, including like the sound scheme that you're using, maybe you've done a bunch of customization to your sound profile within Windows, this will now be backed up and you can restore that from the Windows Backup app. So to me, it's really starting to feel more like a phone. They're migrating away from the old control panel and everything is within the settings app. And what that does is it gives Windows, especially when you're using a Microsoft account, the ability, just like when you get a new phone, if you have it linked into your, I'm an Android guy, so if you have it hooked into like your Google account or whatever, you can bring over a whole lot of settings and. Uh, applications and things like that directly by linking those accounts so it's starting to smell and feel more and more like that to me what do you guys think all right staying in the settings application to ensure you don't lose access to your Microsoft account they begin rolling out a new banner with a add now button under settings account which is where we're at this is only going to show up though if you're logged in with your Microsoft account so this is to encourage you to add a recovery email address, which if you are using these Microsoft accounts to log in and out of your devices, I highly recommend you have some type of backup email or recovery method because things can happen and you don't want to be locked out if this is going to be your primary uh, account that you're using to access your devices. So keep an eye out for that. And again, I encourage you, if you are going to use those Microsoft accounts, go ahead and set up that recovery email. Okay, another one under the settings app is on the home panel or the home screen here under settings. If you are a gamer and you're actively playing games on Windows 11, you should now see a recommended discover your favorite games tile on this home panel here. I'm not a gamer. Uh, also, this is just a kind of a dev, not a dev, but a uh, test VM where I test out the new insider builds and do reviews on them. So I don't have anything set up as far as Xbox or gaming, but I'll show you uh, maybe if I can get it on that screen. I apologize. I'll show you what it should look like if you do have that. So this is the 11 forums where I get some of this information and they're showcasing in build 26244 this new uh, discovery your next favorite game. So it's kind of a recommendation to uh, have you check out a new game they think you might enjoy. Again, not a big gamer. Uh, when I do game, it is classic retro, I should say. Uh, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Burger Time is one of my favorites, uh, Super Mario, stuff like that. I'm just no good at the new games. I feel like an old man saying that, but it takes too much time, at least for me, to learn all the controls on these new fancy games. Um, not to say there's nothing, you know, anything wrong with that. Those games are incredible, especially like the graphics and everything. I'm the type of guy that likes to maybe pick up Grand Theft Auto every now and then. Can't really do it now with little kids because uh, it's a little graphic at times. But yeah, I like games where, <coughs> excuse me, I like games where I can just pick it up, maybe go smash some stuff, drive a car around, and then put it down. I don't, I don't have the time to invest in learning all the secret trip tricks and buttons and all that stuff on these new games. But anyway, not to go on a tangent there, just wanted to share that new feature. If you are a gamer in 26 244, you'll now have. You should now see on your app, I'm sorry, on your settings app, home menu or home screen, you should have that discover your next favorite game. So recommendation to check out a new game. Tell me if you guys see that and if you're using it. And they call that the new game pass recommendation card. That's what it's officially called, the new game pass recommendation card. All right. so. Another thing they note is that they're beginning to roll out a change that redirects the links, and this is kind of what I was talking about earlier, for the fonts control panel page to the fonts setting page at settings personalization fonts. So 
if you go to that control panel for fonts, it'll likely, well, they're starting to roll it out, which usually means they're sprinkling it in. Not everyone has it yet. It'll lead you here. So again, they're trying, I think they're really trying to phase out that old Windows 8, Windows 10, where everything was more of a um, control panel type of option to access and change things. They want to roll it all into this more, again, I keep gravitating back to like a phone type of scenario because it feels like it's all very appy. <laughs> That's a new word, guys, appy. Um, yeah, I, I think there is some upside to that. I just hope that these are these app type of settings give us as much freedom as the old uh, control panel. It's almost like going from on-prem where you have com complete control over all your data to a cloud solution. It feels a little bit like that. I know that's not a perfect uh, analogy, but that's what I'm getting out of it, right? There's definitely a bonus because your stuff's always gonna be there. It's always gonna be backed up. Uh, but there's also downside. You don't have as much freedom. You don't have as much privacy. So let me know what you think about all these different changes that Microsoft uh, is rolling out in the new builds of Windows 11. And or do you guys feel the same? Like, does it feel like we're kind of losing that control over our operating system? Um, yeah, I'd be curious to get your guys' input on that. Maybe I'm just a old man tripping here. All right, so there is a fix they noted for this build in 26.244. So they fixed the underlying issue causing some insiders to see a PCA SVC DLL error dialog pop up when the message, I'm sorry, with the message missing entry PCA wallpaper app detect after upgrading from Windows 11 version 22 or 23H2 to a build in the 26,000 range. I haven't seen that. I don't do a whole lot with wallpapers, but I did do a few videos where I demonstrated uh, some different wallpapers and even a, um, a moving wallpaper or a wallpaper in motion, if you will. And I didn't run into that, but let me know if you guys did. And apparently they fixed that. Okay, so there is still the known issue. I do mention this on every build until this is fixed, but uh, it probably won't be fixed technically because they're not going to service these builds i don't think so for users for some users i didn't have this issue i don't know that i was on these exact builds at any point in time but uh, they are still investigating reports for some windows insiders in the canary and dev channels that are stuck on builds 26040 or build 23620 so that investigation is ongoing so apparently they're still looking at it However, if you are impacted by this and you really want to get on the latest builds, of course you do. If you're in the Canary and Dev channels, that's why we're in these channels. Uh, to, if you want to get on these newer builds today, you could download the latest ISO here. And I'm going to give you the link to this 11forums.com uh, article that I'm looking at. So they have a hyperlink. And you can also get it at, um, like, uh, what is it called? UPMP dump. I just butchered that. Uh, UUP dump, excuse me. <laughs> I did a video on that. I should know how to pronounce it. Yeah, so you can get it from this 11 forums link or you can get it from UUP Dump. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, I did a video on it. Um, you can feel free to check that out. It's basically a site where you can download a complete ISO of these new Canary or Dev Channel builds. And normally Microsoft usually doesn't release them like that. It's more like you need to be in the Insider program and then upgrade to them or pull it down. But uh, more and more they're out there. You can find them on different sites. You can get the full ISOs of these builds. But I think the safest and most reliable way to do it is to get in the Insider program and just continue to check for updates on a daily or weekly basis. But again, if you're stuck, like they mentioned in this bug, then that would be your alternative, would be a fresh install of the new ISO. Okay, so Windows update, this is something new, another issue. We're investigating reports that the Windows update page in settings is not displaying correctly for insiders using certain languages after the previous flight. So no text shows if you're using specific languages in the Windows update settings. Haven't seen that. I don't use other languages. I only speak one language, unfortunately. So um, if you're impacted by that, they are looking into it and working on it. <coughs> It says, if you are impacted by this, the update should still happen on its own. However, you may need to wait a little bit. Okay. Task manager, this is a funny one. They still haven't fixed it apparently. Let's just double check that. So if we go to performance and you're in dark mode, which I try to run dark mode most of the time, it looks hideous. <laughs> it looks like a uh, Rookshire test or whatever that's called with the ink blot. So this is still an issue, obviously. They're trying to figure out why it's not showing the right colors when you're in dark mode, when you're in task manager performance. 
All right, so a new issue also with voice typing. They're working on the fix of an issue causing insiders to see errors when attempting to use voice typing with certain languages such as Chinese. So if you use voice typing and you are doing that natively in Chinese, you may see some issues and they're looking into it. All right, guys, that's everything that is listed, at least in this article. I did check a couple other articles. It seems like uh, these are the main notes here as far as new features, uh, known bugs, and any fixes. So make sure if this is your first time seeing one of my build reviews, make sure you subscribe because I try to do these on a consistent basis as soon as they roll out those new builds. Um, I'm always in anticipation of seeing Windows 12 when I refresh that in my Canary build because uh, I really want to check that out. Just not sure when it's going to roll out yet, but I'll continue to do these at least until we get to Windows 12. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you're rolling these new builds and if so, how do you like them? Hope you all have a great day. Have a great weekend. Until the next video, take care, guys.